make code minute, minute, minute. So the thing I want to show today is a fun little uh, feature of the lighting, the NeoPixel lighting on uh, Circuit Playground Express inside of make code. Uh, I'm gonna hide that little thing there. There, we'll get some space back. Uh, and this is the photon. So if you look inside of our light category on the make code for Circuit Playground Express, you can see we've got this really nice graphical uh, show ring item that lets you just decide to pick among these uh, preset colors what colors to set your uh, NeoPixel RGB LEDs to. And then there are animations, uh, clearing all the pixels to a single color, uh, setting the brightness, you can graph things. Uh, there are individual controls for, for calling out other colors that aren't part of that index. And then there's this section called Photon. And what the heck is Photon? I had to ask Pelly when, when uh, we were first uh, starting to use the, the betas of Make Code. I was like, what is this thing? He said, well, it is sort of like Logo. If you're familiar with Logo, uh, the programming language, which uh, sometimes is called Turtle Graphics, uh, and Logo is a, a programming language that involves this notion of, it helps teach things with this notion of a turtle, or sometimes it's a triangle, that can be commanded to move around a canvas in X and Y coordinates, and it can drop down or lift up a pen. And this was based on a real uh, physical uh, turtle that was built at MIT in the 60s. Um, uh, Seymour Papert, I think, is, is the guy who invented it. And... Uh, I played with it on my Apple II when I was a kid, and I, and I fondly remember Logo. And the idea behind it is that you can learn uh, logic and you can learn some things about um, XY coordinate space um, using this system of Logo. So the notion of the um, object that can move around and can draw or not draw is something that was brought over to the make code using uh, this photon. So for our make code minute today, I'd like to talk about Photon. So if you look at the light section and drop down to Photon, we just have a few things we can do. We can move the Photon, which is a spot on this 10 NeoPixel circle. Uh, so here, move the, for the Photon forward by, and then you can choose a number. And you can actually move it backwards by saying negative numbers. There isn't a separate backwards uh, in, inside of Photon. You can flip the Photon. Uh, you can set its position explicitly. You can change the color that it's going to draw with, and then you can lift up the pen, you can drop down the pen, or you can even use it to erase or turn the pen off. Um, so what I'm doing here today is I've set up a uh, pretty simple little... Uh, oh, let me get that one off my eyeballs at least. How about right there? Uh, I've set up a fairly simple little... Uh, make code program, and I'm gonna just run, run through it, and then we can look at it running on a Real Circuit Playground Express. So uh, the start is the initialization. The first thing that happens is I'm gonna set all of the, in fact, I'll hold this one up as I go. I'm gonna set all of the pixels to blue, which I think you can see them, they're blue. Uh, then I'm going to set the photons position to one, and I'm gonna set a counter, which is a little variable I, I created, to zero. Uh, now, you'll notice when it draws a photon, we get these two little white lights. Those are the position of the photon and where it's going. Uh, and then what I'm doing as an input is using the button A, which is this button on the left as you're facing it on the Circuit Player and Express. Every time that's clicked, it's going to do a series of things. It's going to increment a little counter. So this is a variable that's um, going to count our way up to 10 so that we can run through these and change the color to red. Every time we click it, we'll set one pixel forward. Uh, I should be running it that way. And uh, when we get to the top, get to 10, we're gonna reset it to blue. So that's why I have a little counter going. I'm gonna play a little tone. And then here's the photon code itself. So I'm setting the pen color. Uh, I could actually set this in, in on start. I don't need to set it here, but I've set the pen hue to 10. Um, 10 is red on this zero to 255 scale we have. It sets the pen down. Then I'm going backwards one so that I draw on a pixel. Then I lift up the pen so I'm not drawing anymore. And then I jump forward by two. So that's what, uh, yeah, let's do this on here. This is what this looks like. Get this up to the camera. Here we go. And my finger's gonna obscure the first ones. There we go. Red, 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 and you can hear it. I'll put it by my mic. 
and then we reach 10 and it reset itself to blue. Uh, so that fun little demonstration has a few things going on in it that are really valuable and interesting inside of uh, just general concepts of programming, including being able to count through something. So how we're doing that is we have a loop running forever. And in this forever loop, what happens is it just pays attention to the value of this variable called counter. And it waits until that value equals 10, and then it does whatever falls beneath here. So this is an if-then statement. And what it does when the counter, which increments by one every time I press the button, what it does is it sees, hey, this counter got up to 10, let's drop it back down to zero, and we're gonna reset all of the pixels to blue. So that is our photon. You can also see it running inside of the simulator. Let me move this over here. So inside the simulator here, even if you don't have a Circuit Playground Express and you wanna get started playing with this, you can see it's gonna have pretty much the identical behavior. I don't have my sound turned on so you won't hear the little beep. Uh, but there you go, that is Photon in action. And uh, it's pretty cool because it takes what would require quite a few more blocks if you used the sort of standard uh, NeoPixel lighting controls that we have uh, to set positions and set colors. So this notion of just setting a pen down and drawing or erasing uh, is a really cool one. So check that out if you haven't before. That is Photon and it works on strips of NeoPixels too. So you're not limited just to the NeoPixels that are built onto the board, but you can connect a strip of many more NeoPixels and use Photon on that as well. Um, I haven't tried that, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. I think I saw that at Maker Faire. So someone correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think you can use external NeoPixels with Photon. And uh, so that concludes the Make Code Minute. <laughs>